beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel hope you're having an awesome day and today's video I want to do something like a combination of two things so I both want to talk about underrated products as well as affordable products so today I'm talking about the best bang for your buck as far as products under $20 so they're like actually affordable not just like middle of the ground and they also are underrated so they're not things you hear about hyped up all the times these are products that I honestly don't ever hear about I mean I know I talk about them once in a while but you know, I don't feel like anybody else is. It's not like the Juvia's Place foundation or concealer or anything where everyone's talking about all the time. These are things that I don't see anybody else besides myself talking about and I really wanted to share with you. Of course, all these products will be linked down below and these are my own personal opinions on these products. So if we disagree, it's cool. It's just makeup. It's not that serious. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so this is seven products and I'm currently wearing five of them on my face and this is like for me to go full out like I'm going out all night. I'll probably be out for a really long time today running errands and such. So this is stuff that like is actually good and I'm willing to wear for a really long period of time. Now the first thing is probably the one I've never heard anyone else talk about and it's these W7 liquid glitter liners. I use them as liquid shadows. So this is the hot lava metal flash metallic liner this one is in the gold color this came in like a trio set but they do sell these kind of things individual from w7 and you can find them on like amazon and stuff but what i use them for is like the sparkle underneath my lower lash line so like the little bit of glitter you see right there i use liquid shadow every single day to brighten up my under eyes right there i don't really use it on my lid that much i don't use it as an eyeliner thing it is kind of meant as that because it has like the small little wand on it but to me this is just like very sparkly bright glitter and this thing stays wet for a really long time like i've had this thing open and using it consistently for months it's not drying out on me there's so much product in here for a really great price and it just gives me like that nice little bit of sparkle under lower lash line which i think is just perfect for brightening up the eyes making them look bigger more awake and open so this is like one of my favorite glitter shadows liquid shadows it's better than the stilo ones in the like i mean the glitter and glow stilo ones are like amazing but there's some other variations of Stila ones that are super unimpressive to me. The Elf ones dry out super quick. And this one's just like super glittery, wet, and kind of product in there. So I have no products, I have no problems with this product. And I just think it's really nice, especially for the money. Next up is a new freckle product. So I have the Freck XL, which is really expensive for what you're getting when you draw on little fake freckles, and it's just super expensive. So a affordable product that I've tried late recently and I'm really loving and I'm wearing today is the Lottie London Freckle Tint. Now this is super small. Lottie London can be seen in Riley Rose stores, which now Riley Rose is just inside some Forever 21s, but you can find it there if you're trying to find it in store. But it is super, super cute. So it's a little thing. And of course, like the normal freckle pens you see everywhere, it has just like a little ink thing where you just like draw your little dots, boop, 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 and you can blot them out and make them, you know, less vibrant. It really is kind of red tinted. That's one of something I see with every single freckle product I use is they're really red tinted but I, it does work for a variety of skin tones so maybe more people have warm undertones and cool undertones i'm not really sure but for me this is just way better than the frag because it's way cheaper and it's easier to blot out now i'm wearing them today so you can see along here I have the fake freckles on. I don't want it to be super, super noticeable, so I really blot them out. This is super easy to blot out compared to the freck, which you can blot out, but they stay slightly bigger and slightly darker. This, you can really just keep blotting them out for a really long time. It doesn't stain my fingers, which happens with the freck sometimes. And honestly, it's a little more red, which I don't like, but for the price and the blendability and the subtleness you can get with these, like it's really nice. And I actually like the white packaging too. I think it's really cute. And like they look super like, you know, you wouldn't really pay attention like, oh, she took the time to draw freckles on. You would just see my face and that's what it is, which I like because I don't want to be like, oh, she drew freckles on. I just want to see the couple freckles and be like, that's cute. So <laughs> that makes any sense at all. I like this a lot. I think it's really nice for the price. All right. Next up is this lip thing. I've talked about this several times now. I'm almost out of it. I need to find her another one like in a Ulta or something. Um, so this is the Milani Green Goddess Transforming Lip Balm. They also have a rose one. I prefer the green one. Now, this lip balm is the only thing on my lips right now. I don't have liner on i don't have anything else but my lips are tinted because of this so you can tell it makes my lips more pink so it's on the bottom it's on the top and then the warmness from your mouth or on the tube will make it more pink and more bright now i've been neglecting lipstick lately i've not been wearing it hardly ever which sucks because sometimes when i want to go out i feel like i'm not really put together unless i have my lips done but if i'm wearing a mask like i'm not gonna put lipstick on all the time because it gets all over it and makes it gross 
So I've been wearing a lot of tinted lip balm and for me, this provides great moisture. It really does stop any chapping or anything like that. It's a great moisturizing lip balm. It smells very light fragrance. You don't really smell it. And the transforming lives my, my lips a little bit of color because naturally I have like no pigment to my lips. So I think this is a really nice lip balm choice and a very affordable product as well. Again, you can use the rose one, but I think I prefer the green one a lot more. Okay, those are the random products. I have two concealers and two palettes now. So let's go ahead and do palettes. We'll do concealers last. So palettes, first thing is this, the newer palette. I did a full review of it. It is the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. Now, a lot of people are going to say ColourPop is not underrated. But for me, I feel like this palette really flew under the radar because it's one of their tinier palettes. It's not as exciting as a lot of their newer releases. And this was swiftly followed up with the Hocus Pocus collection. So to me, this flew under the radar. Not, people, uh, not a lot of people talked about it. But it has a super cute like snakeskin pattern on it and here is the inside i really love their cardboard packaging i think it's nice i kind of wish it had a mirror but you know not a big deal so here is the inside of the palette i've been using this constantly i've used it three times this week i'm wearing it today on my eyes it is the only eyeshadow it is just so pretty i like that there's one super shock in here it gets a little bit of a wet texture if you want that the shimmery the shimmers in here work really well I also kind of like the darker shade right here, the one deepening up shade, because a lot of these are very similar, and you get a really deep shade to darken everything up on the outer corner for me, and I think it's really nice. And for me, I love cool tones. I need to get that big cool tone palette, but like, I mean, it's, everything's 25% off today on their website. I heard that last night, so I might pick that up. I don't know. Do I need the giant palette? You let me know. Do I need that giant cool tone palette? Because I feel like I do. And I've been using this a ton, so I feel like I get a lot of use out of it. The other palette is from Alter Ego. Now, I've talked about Alter Ego a lot. I have an Alter Ego affiliate. You can use my code or my link to shop Alter Ego, and my code will save you some money off, so it's even cheaper. But this has nice, heavy magnetic packaging. It's super, super nice and, and like, luxurious feeling. And they dupe, like, high-end palettes that I could personally never afford on my own. So this is a dupe for Natasha Denona palette right here, and it is just so pretty. Now, Goddess is my favorite one of the Alter Ego palettes. It's my favorite. I love the greeny golds. I love those kind of colors. But since I've been doing so many cool tones and very subtle looks lately, just for running errands and stuff, because it's just been super gloomy and rainy every single day in Florida, and the weather's changing. It's just like a mess. I've not felt like doing anything fun or colorful. I've just been doing cool tones and subtle looks all the time. So Sahara is the one that I've been using recently, but Goddess is like my... <laughs> That's my girl. It's my favorite one. But this one's what I've been reaching for lately. And I just really like the soft, subtle shimmers in here. And like the kind of a yellowy kind of tone too. So I like orangey shades on my eyes. I like yellows and I like cool tone browns. And this has everything in there except a bright, bright yellow. But I can kind of make this look yellowy. So it really works for me. It's affordable. I can't afford the Natasha Denona one. And has great quality too. So this is a really great option if you're looking for affordable palettes. And it feels really nice too. Like I, I just love a sucker for a magnet, I think. I'm a sucker for a magnet. All right, lastly is two concealers. Now, the concealer that I'm using on my face today is the Infinite Concealer from Makeup Revolution. Now, the Conceal and Define Concealer was fine. The Conceal and Hydrate Concealer was great, but it expired super quickly and grew mold, so I don't have that anymore. But this new Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer is amazing coverage. It comes in a small size as well as this full size, so if you don't want to get like the full one, you can honestly save even more money and get the smaller one but it's already an affordable price for the full size one i'm in the shade c1 it is not like the coolest coolest cool tone concealer but the coverage on this so i'm going to clean off the thing and just do like a wipe for you just to see it is just so full coverage like it is a really really great concealer option and it blends out for days like uh, you can still see where it is but it blends out so smoothly and it really does long wear. Now it's not quite as long wearing, quite as full coverage as Shape Tape, but for a fraction of the price, you're getting amazing coverage. And if I'm running errands for the day, I'm gonna wear this instead of wasting $27 concealer on doing nothing. I want full coverage moment and for drugstore, this is like the best option that I found recently. I also really like the Juvia's Place concealer, but it's way more drying under the under eyes. So something like this with a giant doe foot and it's not drying, great coverage, I'm totally here for. The other concealer is slightly less coverage, but on days where I don't care about coverage as much or I've color corrected, I'm using the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. It is really nice. This has been out for a while. I feel like it's one of those things that didn't get as much hype as say, I don't know, the foundation. The foundation, the Pretty Fresh foundation is like beautiful, but you know like the original ColourPop foundation has so much hype. The original concealer from ColourPop has so much hype. This is way better coverage. It's less drying. It is smaller. I am in the shade. Fair 10N, which if you want to know my shade, because a lot of people 
like to know my shade and I always forget to mention it, but I mentioned it today. I'm doing good. I just think it's a really great medium, slightly more than medium coverage balance or concealer. And I like the color range. It's a really good color range. They do a ton of different undertones, which I appreciate because a lot of the times I'll find the right shade, but the undertone is really, really yellow. These come in great neutral undertones if you're looking for that, which I obviously am. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a great concealer. I would say this has better coverage. This goes on sale a lot and it's cheaper. And also, I don't know. I mean, they both have their benefits. Like I want this full coverage moment sometimes. And then sometimes I want it to look more natural on my skin. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was really simple. I just wanted to go over a couple of things I feel like no one's talking about and that are affordable because not all of us are made out of money, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the times I see like reviews on $129 eyeshadow palettes and don't get me wrong there's a place for that and it's really exciting to see how these palettes are formed that are really high end but like some of us ain't got time to see buying a $129 eyeshadow when I can buy like 10 ColourPop palettes for the same price and have really good quality too so I don't know. Anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't down below I greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.